Uh, let me give you all some background. So for those of you who don't know, Stuart Scott was a famous sports reporter on ESPN, where he charmed the homes of millions of Americans and revolutionized the way people broadcast sports. Stuart had been battling cancer for the past seven years. On July 16th, 2014, in the Microsoft Theater, Stuart Scott was honored with the Jimmy V Award for Courage. Before he gave his speech, there was a brief clip of him show, uh, showing Stuart going through chemotherapy. With the crowd on the verge of tears, Stuart went on stage with thousands of athletes, co-workers, and celebrities applauding him. Now, Stuart established his ethos by saying that he had presented this award before, and he knows the significance of having this award. He uses logos by saying he doesn't really he doesn't feel like he deserves the award. Obviously, he did because he's such an inspirational figure to many Americans. He also, this was a whole entire passion-driven speech. Two days before the actual speech, he had four surgeries. He was, his body was failing him, and he still mustered the power to get on stage and give a speech. Last, another point of ethos, was uh, pathos, is when his daughter gave him a hug in the middle of his speech. Oh he God. also used anaphora with a common theme. Whenever he talked about perseverance, he used anaphora. He said, don't give up. Don't ever give up. He also said, um, I listened to Jimmy Valvano. I listened to Jimmy Valvano. I did what he said. I did what he said. And it's all because he's determined. He's not giving up. He also says, I'm not losing. I'm not losing. I'm not losing. And he passed away January of last year, but his lasting impact for the cancer community is everlasting. So I'm going to be reciting his award speech <laughs> for the... Courage. Every day, I'm reminded that our life's journey is about the people who touch us. When I first heard that I was going to be honored with this reward, I was speechless, briefly. I presented this reward before. I watched in awe as Kay Yao and Eric LeGrand and all these other great people have graced this stage. And although intellectually, I get it. I'm a public figure, I have a public job, I'm battling cancer, hopefully I'm inspiring. At my gut level, I really didn't think I deserved this award. But then I listened back 21 years ago what Jim Valvano said, don't give up, don't ever give up. Those great people didn't, Coach Valvano didn't. So to be honored with this reward, I too have the responsibility to also never give up. I'm not special, I just listened to what the man said. I listened to all he said and everything that he asked of us. And, uh, I also realized something else recently. You might have heard it in the piece. I said, I'm not losing. I'm still here. I'm fighting. I'm not losing. But I got to amend that. When you die, does that, that does not mean you lose to cancer. You beat cancer by how you live, why you live, and the manner in which you live. So live, fight like hell. And when you're too tired to fight, lay down and let someone else fight for you. 